Hey guys, we have a great video today. The 21 story office building behind me is serviced by Mitsubishi High Speed Destination Dispatch Elevators. And Mitsubishi Electric has graciously invited me here today to meet with one of their best engineers for a personal tour of the inner workings of these fantastic machines. I can't wait to see what they have to show me. So come on, let's go inside. Hi, nice to meet you. Yo. All right, here we go. Enter desired floor. It tells you Floors one through 21. Car E, this is for the White system car. where you press the floor on the outside and you go on the inside everybody's in here we go Side of an elevator shaft. This is very cool. You have your car top controls, you have your cables, lights so you can see. The motor with the drive shut on up, and the cables connect up over the top. Come down to a counterweight. Yep. Motor kicks it up and down. And we'll go upstairs and look at it, and then we'll look underneath of it too. So it's really cool. Get any questions about any of this stuff? Or? These are. These or will slow the elevator down. I'll show you when we go upstairs. There's sensors on the motors that know how fast the motors are turning to know where it's at at all times. But these will slow it down in case something happens. Changes the speed pattern on the on the drives. Lots of pieces. What's the big black box? That is the emergency power pack. So if we lose power to the elevator lighting system, there's batteries in there that keep them on for about half an hour. Oh, yeah, that's the building loses start power. Off. It gives light if somebody's stuck in there, so they're not dark. Yeah, pretty much it's it's required. Maybe. And then the bell that rings if you push the bell button inside yeah. the elevator, yeah. that's the bell. And there's another one down on the first floor that's down into the better right here. So oh, somebody so downstairs can hear it if this is all the way through. Yeah. Or in a bigger building. And we gotta wire all those up. Every, yeah. every wire in there we gotta hook up. Even one wire goes wrong, the elevator's gonna mount. Nothing works. Yeah. Even if <laughs> one wire gets cut. It'll, it'll change displays based on what I'm looking for. If I'm looking for a problem, I can use that to troubleshoot it. So I can turn it off. And I can turn it back on. This is a door of an elevator, and this is the door operator. 
much more complicated than I imagined, but, you know. These are closed elevator doors. all this, even to just run the door. Look at this. Many, many tables. Under and over. So you think it's probably the fan that cools the elevator. So you know what these tables here are? See how they connect to the bottom? They connect to the bottom, that's mm -hmm. me. I thought they only connected to the top. Well, these are different than the ones on the top. All right. These are called compensation ropes. Compensation ropes. So if your elevator's at the bottom and you got nine ropes, it's a lot of weight. Yeah. So we need to compensate for that weight. So they put these ropes on. So when all the ropes are at the top of the car. Say the car's down here. Those now introduce weight to the bottom of the counterweight. So it changes the weight from the car to the counterweight based on where the car's at. Okay. And then that block down there that they go around, there's two shivs in there. About 3,500 pounds. What's that yellow thing down there? The work platform. Yeah, it looks like it would be for people. That's to get up and put oil in the buffers. Yeah. Service it. Looks like we have a hydraulic thing to stop Those it. Those are the buffers, yeah. yeah. So if it comes down, it smashes it from hitting too hard if it was ever hit. And then the weights on the bottom of the car right there, nobody else has that in the industry, just us. And they balance the bar. So the way that we do it is we'll leave the, the bottom guides on, the lower guides, and then the ones on top we take off. And we move those weights around inside the cab. And it should balance itself. Mm -hmm. It shouldn't lean one way or the other. And it's pretty much no tension on the rollers. As it goes up and down, it stays perfectly level. But it's, you have all your doors and stuff on the front, so that counteracts the way to the back, so it's balanced. Cool. And then remember the cable I told you about the earthquake? You can see the, the box down there with the little white wire. Yeah, the one that I can see the cable maybe right there. You see it? And that goes all the way to the top. Okay, what do you think? Pretty cool? <laughs> really cool. Yeah. This is one of the best views. Never seen the bottom of an elevator. Not a lot of people do. On the next episode of Beckett's Elevator Adventures. My personal tour with Mitsubishi Elevators continues as we climb to the rooftop to view the inner workings of the elevator machinery. Wow! Later, I conduct my very own nickel test. Finally, I go one-on-one -on -one with Mr. Eric Zomers, the Senior Vice President and general manager of Mitsubishi Elevator and Escalator Division in an exclusive interview you won't want to miss. What was your most challenging project that your team did? The most challenging project... See you in 30 days for part two of my tour with Mitsubishi Elevators.